is a South African goalkeeper who plays for Kaiser Chiefs in the PSL and for the South African national team. He is known for his quick reflexes and great distribution of the ball, which is arguably the best seen in the PSL. So far, Gune has won three league titles and nine cups with Kaiser Chiefs. Individually, Kune won the PSL Footballer of the Year in 2013 and has been voted twice as the PSL's Players Player of the Season in the seasons ended 2008 and 2013. Kune also has 13 other individual awards which set him apart from the other great goalkeepers to have played in the PSL to make him a living legend. Kune started his club career at Kaiser Chiefs, where he shot to fame in 2007, when he saved three penalties in the Telkom knockout final against Mamelodi Sundowns. Kune started out as a defender when he arrived for trials in Chiefs in 1999, but assumed the gloves by chance after he experienced chest problems during a junior game and found himself being reduced to a ball boy. Diving for balls that had missed the target, he caught the attention of youth coach Terra Sefoa, who converted him to a goalkeeper. In 2004, he was promoted to the first team, where he waited three years to get any game time. Kune finally got his opportunity in the early stages of the 2007 and 2008 season, after the departure of the then number one goalie, Rowan Fernandez. Itu Maleng's first season in the PSL was highly successful as he had several match-winning displays. Kune's performances for his side earned him a host of individual awards, which resulted in Chiefs having the best defense record in the league, conceding only 19 goals in 30 games. In 2011, Kune was assigned as the captain of Kaiser Chiefs, replacing Jimmy Dao. This seemed to have urged on Kune the following 2012-2013 season, which was arguably his best season. In 2013, Kune led his side to a league and cup double, where he was also voted into Goal.com's Goal 50, which is a list of the best players of 2013. He was ranked 45th ahead of the likes of Fernandino, Robbie Keane and Frank Lampard. In 2014, he made his 200th appearance for Chiefs, where prior to that match, he had an excellent record of 91 clean sheets in 199 games for Chiefs. That year, he went on to win the Goalkeeper of the Year award for the second time in a row with 15 goals conceded and 18 clean sheets in 25 starts. Come 2015, Kune initially did not renew his contract with Kato Chiefs when it expired in June. However, after a long period of negotiations, he returned to the club on July 30, 2015, signing a new contract and has since been at the club at the time of making this video. Internationally, Itumileng made his debut against Zimbabwe on the 11th of March 2008. He was the first choice goalkeeper in South Africa's squad at the 2009 FIFA Confederations Cup where he saved a penalty against Spanish star David Villa in the group stages. Kune was selected for the 2010 FIFA World Cup as South Africa's first choice goalkeeper and made some good saves in the opening match against Mexico. However, he was sent off against Uruguay when he tripped striker Luis Suarez inside the penalty area in the 77th minute. This made him the second goalkeeper to be sent off in the history of the FIFA World Cup. This was the first red card of his career. Kunye represented Bafana Bafana for the whole of the 2013 African Cup of Nations where he kept two clean sheets. In 2016, 
Kune was selected as one of South Africa's overage players for the 2016 Summer Olympics. He arrived at the tournament as the player with the most international experience alongside Nigeria's John Obi Mikel with 75 national team caps to his name. Kune is a living legend and continues to play for Chiefs. He has had an inspirational career and will be remembered a legendary South African goalkeeper when he decides to hang up his boots. Thank you guys for watching this video and please subscribe. Hala.